Alright, remember, this is not a kid's gaming channel. I don't encourage smoking. If you're an adult, you smoke cigarettes and do it if you want to. I don't care, but if you're a kid, don't smoke. If you're a kid, stop watching. Um, but if you play Duel Links, get your parents' permission to come back and watch this video. Other than that, quick explanation. Haven't made a Duel Links video in a while. In a very, very long while. The reason being is that Duel Links has gotten crazy, so they just changed the Legend rank, and I'd only started making King of Games a couple months ago. Um, Sharonwi. Tech, check out that Sharonwi deck. Uh, this is mostly going to be me telling you a bit about decks, how to beat them, what they're good at, what they can do. And I'm just going to keep it quick. I got coffee to get back to your mother. So, outside of that, let's do this. Sharonwi, do not banish them. Um, is my best advice. If you banish a Sharonwi, most people will stop playing D-Present. I know it just came out and it's a pain in the ass. Use it as a tech card, though. If you're not seeing a lot of Sharonwi where you're at, don't worry about Sharonwi. Um, but the Sharonwi are very powerful. You need to keep an eye on Spirit Master. If you can remove them before your opponent can with a bunch of face downs, you will get no effect activated. When you can remove is Shunryu Sharonwi Squire Saga. If you remove her from game, it does not change anything. You have to be careful with the other three synchros that they have on which one you send to the graveyard. Now, I also want to bring up a really cool card. Um, and th this is not usual. I promise next time I will have gameplay footage of it. Um, or at least gameplay footage of me playing while I'm talking. This is just a quick one. Um, just kind of keep my channel alive because I've been running another channel. So... Um, well, and that channel's more about politics. Don't, uh, don't have pimples. Don't go there unless you, I, I pluck my pimple hair. Fuck y'all, YouTube. But, um, I, uh, I definitely would recommend not banishing Sharonwi, just in general. Destroy them, banish them, but read the effects, see which ones are which. I believe it's the eight star resummons monsters or sends them back to the graveyard. Either way, it's not a fun time against the Sharonwi. They basically have an infinitely sized deck because of the six star monster in the game. Uh, he actually just sort of just sits there and allows them to put cards that they banish back into the deck, allowing you to rebanish them out of the deck. Pretty broken, if you ask me. That's just me. Um, another quick update is I just got Cosmic Enlightenment. I just got the um, RDA deck built with the three Assault Beasts, three RDAs, and three of the Psy Reflector. Now, I'm thinking about Serene Psychic Witch. Me and my group use that. We all play with Serene Psychic Witch pretty much. There's not one of us who doesn't, and I think, <laughs> I think it's just good. It's a valuable play in that deck because if you don't get the chance to use Cosmic Enlightenment to get Psy Reflector because you're up against an OTK deck... Having a face down wins. <laughs> OTK decks cannot do as much damage against face down. The only one I've seen is... Oh yeah, we'll jump back to Dragon Knight. That's where I started. Um, but the... Oh man, I'm, you see, I'm all train wrecked on my thoughts. I'm all like scatterbrained. There's so many decks I want to talk about. Um, but Red Dragon Archfiend is a hard deck to answer because they're going to attack you twice on combat if they've set Red Dragon Archfiend on the field up for it. And you didn't blow up Assault Mode Activate. Good game, bro. Because you're taking whatever the 3,000 does over and then 3,500 to face. Good game. And I hope you don't have a bunch of defense monsters. Because this is going to get real ugly real fast. Um, but I don't think the RDA deck has the staying power for the meta. Unlike the Sharonwi deck does. Um, keep an eye on these new mini box decks uh, that are coming out. Because they're extremely powerful. I'm about to not have free gems, so I might have to create me a new account to get new packs and keep on with the new packs. Um, but at the same time, I also would rather just spend an extra couple, because I only have ever spent like 150 or 200 bucks most in this game. And I would rather just spend a little extra money to keep playing. I might just start stacking gems financially and just do that. But, alright. And that's because my account has shit that like legacy accounts have like from beta. So I'm like, mm, that they've had since beta. Like old, old first pack Neo and pack cards. So I'm like, why would I get rid of this account? Why would I stop playing it? I wouldn't. Um, especially when I'm just now getting King of Games ranks. Oh, hell no. And when I have like 10 King of Games decks. Nah. Um, going back a little bit. Dragon Knight of Creation. <laughs> you pitch a card. He is, okay, he is Swing of Memories on a stick. 
Swing of memories on a freaking stick. On your opponent's turn, for no reason that's known to me, maybe you guys have an answer, he becomes a level 8. I don't know what to do with the level 8 on my opponent's turn. It, but he's an 1800 attacker with its level 8, so fuck yeah, I'll take it, I guess. But, the attack is not the important part of his effect. When he attacks, however, he does send a dragon monster from your deck to your graveyard. Alright, Spirit of the Ancient White players, I just got that pack today. I got two of them. I wanted three because you need three Cosmo Brains is what I was thinking about. But on the other end of that, I gotta wait. I gotta wait to get that third one. Because that third one... Whew, give me a third Cosmo Brain. Give it to me. Let me get three Cosmo Brains and three Dragon Knight of Creation out. I swear to y'all, y'all be having the worst time. But I also didn't know Spirit of White counted as a normal, so here I was with two Spirit of Whites and two Dragon Core Hexers, and I'm all, it seems bad. But, use Dragon Core Hexer to get to Ultimate Bish Balkan. He's not going to win a lot of matches, but if you find that you're getting swarmed, you can stop swarming with Ultimate Bish Balkan. He makes a bunch of token dudes, so if they're a swarm deck, they have to get rid of the tokens first. That eats their normal summon and probably wastes their chance to swarm the board. Um... What else? I mean, really, that's it. I was playing Ancient Gears uh, globally. Top 39,000 players in the world. So if y'all want any advice, post your deck lists below. Free advice from Gamer Guy Gladimir coming at y'all. Um, other than that, though, let me know what you guys think. I'm beating myself up because I'm stuck at Legend Rank 3. I hate it. I hate that this new legend rank exists. I hate this new ranking system for legend and that it exists. Also, I hate how fit of a gamer I am. No, I'm kidding. I love that. That's. I think that for some reason, Yu-Gi-Oh gamers are extremely fit. I've noticed this. I, I played Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic and uh, thought about playing Pokemon, but nah, that was all kids, so I just said nah. But with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh is definitely the fitter, better looking of the two. I don't want to say that to sound mean because I love Magic the Gathering and I play Magic the Gathering much more than I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I got a blue-black zombie mill deck that y'all just can't touch. It's like probably not even modern legal. It's probably not even legal in any format, but it's cool. Um, but yeah, no, free deck advice, guys. Dragon Knight of Creation is fucking buck. Start using him. Get him on that popular list. If you like dragon decks, if you're using a Blue Eyes White dragon deck, tech one of these guys and just tell me he doesn't make a difference for your game. Tell me that when your Blue Eyes is dead and you just summon him for his second effect, which just pitches him to the yard and a card in your hand so you pitch a kid moto, get a third Blue Eyes... Oh yeah, tell me that isn't good. Tell me that isn't good. Or you pitch that egg, and then at the end of your opponent's turn, you get your third blue eye. Fuck yeah, that shit's maneuverable and hot. That shit is hot. Um, combo Dragon Knight with Kid Moto. Don't combo Dragon Knight with the egg, because with Kid Moto, you can get your dragon instantly. Yes, you're losing the attack. The attack won't happen for that next turn anyway. But you don't have to banish anything. And it activates as a win, so it's not going to miss activation. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can win. There is one card that can cause it to miss activation, but I think it's more of a chain timing effect that causes that. Not one card. Um, I, I want to say that it's the chain timing that causes this effect. But, uh, sorry, look at my ceiling for a quick second, guys. It's a nice ceiling I've got here. Hopefully there's no spiders about to drop down on me, and if there were, if this was a live stream, I'm sure you guys would tell me because you guys are awesome. Um, but other than that, this was just a quick Yu-Gi-Oh! update from your boy King of Games, who finally made King of Games. I stole the name King of Games before I even knew it was a rank, boys. Um, shit. Other than that, I don't want to sound rude, but me and the Duel Links fam got some issues with you, dk We know you still have parkour's decks out there, dk We seen you, dk We coming. We got our own top player council, don't you worry about it. We got you, dk I seen you playing, and I know your weakness. You can't beat Spell Speed 3, boy, just like Ninja. Uh, I played Ninja once, and I wish I had gotten the recording, but uh, I didn't even get to play him, y'all. He quit. So just so y'all know, if y'all were watching a live stream and he went against King of Games, the nigga quit. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, nah, that was cool. Other than that, though, y'all, I think that was actually the first time in any game I've ever played a YouTuber. But any uh, other YouTuber other than myself. I mean, I am the YouTuber playing, so just kidding. But, um, 
never getting back into Legends. Uh, I dropped Legends for Duel Links and Hearthstone over what happened with Blitz Chung. Talked about it on my other channel. Might share the video over to here. Um, other than that, guys, get in there. Enjoy this meta. Like, there's... I'll admit, Blue Eyes is playing, even though it's not on the list, it's playing good. Like, I haven't played my Blue Eyes on the ladder. I'm actually going to take it into casual, and if I can grind a good 20, 30 wins back-to-back -back with it, it's a good deck for online play. But other than that, you guys, peace out. Give me your deck lists if you need help. Um, let me know what they are. I'm not, I'm not DK'd, so I'm not just going to take your deck list, optimize it, and say I made it better. Or say I made it. So if you guys really want deck help, say I get three ancient gear players asking for the same deck, I will actually create a video update and I will go through the five ancient gear decks that I use to try to tackle the ladder because it takes about five different techs depending on what you're seeing. So if you're seeing a lot of spellcasters, you don't want the magical hats version because they're going to blow up all of your spells and traps. It's just what it's going to be. Don't bother with the Magical Hats version of Ancient Gear. But other than that, guys, Dr. Crowler signing out. Dr. Crowley, pardon me. Crowler, or Crowler, pardon me. Signing out, guys. Uh, he's probably my favorite GX character despite being the biggest prick. But other than that, yeah, the third closeout, I'm a Midwesterner. And you guys have a happy holiday and enjoy yourself some Duel Links.